welcome back again po it's your boy x to the lxl vlogs and uh today i'm doing this video on purpose because uh someone has a someone has requested a video about what to choose uh, in terms of uh you know handling handling the most comfortable way a balisong and that would be mr it's mr j shout out to you it's mr j so uh this video is for you and for everyone who care to know or uh, who wanted to know what the what is the most uh, fitting balisong for for us to handle in terms of uh, you know uh, driving it uh, into an opponent or a bad guy or whatnot or a threat okay uh, but first of all, I would like to say that uh, I'm not a professional martial artist or whatnot. I'm not a professional blade uh, uh, instructor. Actually, I'm not an instruct instructor. Uh, I'm just fond of collecting blades, but uh, based from my experiences, uh, not violent violence wise, but uh, you know, uh, experiences in terms of uh, handling balisongs, you know, manipulating it or playing with it. Uh, this video is a uh, it's about that topic so uh, let's get it on so basically this is my my entire balisong collection together with some of the uh, pocket knife pocket uh, switch blades or sorry pocket knives also with the uh, I only have a one fixed single fixed blade and that will be this guy come along all right so without any further um commentary or whatnot here it goes um, in, uh, i'll be doing this video in english so that everyone would understand uh, the universal language would fit for everyone to hear to comprehend you know i'll be trying my best to speak in english i'm sorry for my grammar i haven't been speaking in english for for decades you no know, for three decades <laughs> Because I'm a Filipino and I reside in my native land, Philippines. Anyhow, video is getting longer. Shout out to you again, Mr. It's Mr. J. It's Mr. J. Uh, ito ang aking uh, sagot sa yung uh, sagot, I mean, uh, uh, op opinion about what type of uh, balisong uh, would, would fit the best if you're about to hand if you're about to handle it and manipulate it, no? Again, not necessarily driving it uh, to puncture your opponent or the bad guy or whatnot or enemy or threat. But it, 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 it just in case, it would also help us uh, in, terms of, in terms of defend defending someone, somebody or ourselves, even ourselves. Whenever we are manipulating the, 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 the balisong that I am about to choose today. So here it goes. I'll be doing this uh, impromptu without any cuts. I'll try my best. Sorry if, if I'm stuttering. Anyhow, uh, for me it is very simple. If you're about to choose uh, the most fitting balisong for you in terms of driving it or manipulating it, first of all you you, you will have to look out for the for the weight. You know? That's the most important thing. The weight, in bigat in Tagalog, the weight, the mass. How many masks does it, does it hold? You know. So obviously, how do you know? How do you know the mass of a, of a balisong? You know, first of all, you you wanna look for the for the slim type. You know. So I'm not saying that uh, all uh, all uh, thick or wide balisongs are heavy. Some of them are all are, are already modified by uh, uh, balisong swordsmiths. To make it even more lighter than before, than the uh, than the standard heavy balisong. Anyhow, moving on, uh, going back to what I'm trying to say about this about the mass or the size, you wanna look up for the slim type. All right, that's one. Even though you are looking up for the slim type, uh, that doesn't mean that it, that is already uh, light. It all, uh, some of the slim types holds a lot of weight. Why is that? Because some of the slim types 
has the has the gold brass uh, housing has the gold brass housing so uh, having mentioned that uh, it has a gold brass housing like for example let me grab uh, an example of a slim balisong like this one which uh, holds a gold brass housing it is still heavy it is still heavy it's still it is still hard to manipulate no it is still very stressful on your wrist whenever you are playing it you know try to do it on your own do it yourself try to manipulate this flip this over and over for about 50 times if you care to and uh, i'm telling you uh you, you, your wrist will feel tired it will be stressful for your wrist no uh, you will notice that uh your wrist your wrist are aching you know developing a little bit of a uneasiness on your on your wrist i'll show you the housing of this one is brass right gold brass right so it must it, it is not still advisable for you for you to pick up a gold brass housing even though it is a uh, sin okay hold on let me flip it out once again let me open it to its original okay okay let me return let, let me bring it back here so yes uh still we, we got over with with the with the with the shape all right or we, or the, the thinness or the thickness so you already chose a slim type but then we we haven't still got over with with the with the, with the type of housing the element so what what do we need to choose i would like to choose, choose this one okay this one is still a benton web eh? just like just like this one the one that i held with earlier but this time we have here the stainless housing which is even more lighter than the gold brass so now finally we have chose the the perfect housing right and uh, uh, if you try to manipulate it, manipulate it for 50 times or so, you, you will notice that it is way more com comfortable, not so stressful compared to the gold brass. Okay, you will notice that. I've tried that many times before. I'm not. I'm telling. I'm not a professional, but I have noticed it that it is not really stressful when I flip it, especially the the aluminum ones, the housing aluminum ones, or the stainless one, or whatnot, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, now number two, we got over with with the type of housing. Number one, the the width wise, the thickness. Number two, the the type of housing got over with. And moving on to the third one, uh, what's the third one? The inserts, okay? The inserts. Why is it really essential for you to choose the right inserts? Because uh, like this one that I held uh, seconds ago, the, this one comes with the horse bone inserts. Uh, come on, admit it to yourself. Like me, I'm, I'm really, I sweat a lot. You know, my palms really sweat a lot because uh, in Tagalog it is called pasmado. I don't know what's the English of pasmado. I sweat a lot. And, when, and then when I drive it or flip it, uh, or even when I hold it like this, it really fe felt like slippery. It really felt slippery. Sorry, it really felt slippery on my wrist or, my, or on my fingers, on my hand itself. So I decided, no, 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 this is not still the perfect one for me. I'm not being nitpicky, or if you wanna tell, if you wanna say that I'm really nitpicky, it is very important for you to choose the uh, the perfect one because uh, you, you, you know why? Why is that? I'll tell you. Before, when I was trying to flip this, the especially the horsebone, even though I really love the horsebone inserts. Uh, it it uh, it failed to to it, it, I don't know the what you call this the stability the stability on the on the hand is it has failed you know it flipped it flipped over my my hand and uh, and the balisong flew away and almost hit my feet or whatever or even people around you when I was trying to flip it like this you know for example when I was trying to flip it like that it went that oh it went that way you understand so. Still, number uh, still number three, the inserts is really the inserts is, is really important. Uh, what to choose? What do we need to choose in terms of uh, inserts? I decided to choose the you know the texture, the the, the one the wooden wooden texture, the 
I'm sorry, what they call this? Uh, like for I almost lost that one. Uh. Where did I place that? Here. This is the perfect one, the most perfect one. Let me choose this one. I I'd say I'd say this is the most perfect one, okay? To end the, to end the video, this one is the perfect one, okay? Among all of this one. Why is that? We're almost uh, near to the finish line, to the tail of line, okay? So hold on. This is the most, ano, the most, um, what you call this, in Tagalog, maganit, or uh, the most not, not slippery, not so slippery texture, because why is that? This one comes with a very rough wood. We, uh, we all have types of uh, wood. We have here the smooth, smooth wood, uh, especially the mahogany, the mahogany, or sorry, the kamagong, or the ivory type of wood, or whatnot. Those wood, those kinds of woods are very slippery, you know. But this one is the perfect one. This one, I, I'm not really sure what kind of uh, wood this is. I don't know if this is lawan or whatnot, or just an ordinary type of wood. No, that's not so special about this one. But for me, this one is the most efficient one. If you're trying to manipulate this one, whenever you're trying to flip it, manipul uh, trying to you know drive it or whatnot, or practice with it, this one is the most perfect uh, texture. Okay. So on the uh, again, number one is the the width or the thickness. Number two, you know the type of in, uh, type of a housing. If it is a gold brass or aluminum one or the stainless one or whatnot, number just like this one. This one is the perfect one, just like I said. And number three, the inserts. And one last thing before we go, before we end this video, the num the uh, the num number four. I've noticed it also in terms of the blade, you know, the, the type of blade. See, this one we have here is the Rambo, what they call Rambo. Or uh, you can even consider this al almost a Boyod type of blade because they only placed a hole uh, in the midst of the blade, you know, to make it look more Ram Rambo type of blade. And also, they have placed a grooving on the nape of the blade. I, I'm sorry, I'm having difficulty focusing this one. Anyway, yeah, like this one. You can see, right? This one is the the grooving, right? So anyway, yeah. Why, why is that? Most most uh, the boyhood and uh, Rambo type of blade are very thick. Actually, this one is very thin. They, the 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 swordsmith uh, decided to uh, how, how do you call this to, uh, to taper to taper this one into a very thin. Uh, blade But most of the if you can notice most of the nates of the uh, Rambo type of blade in the Buyod are really really thick and I'll show you a comparison later So anyhow, that's the fourth most important thing If you're trying to look up look up for the for the for the lightest one for the very lightweight uh, balisong try to look look for the for the nape of the balisong if it is this thin you know because most uh the debut and rambo type of blade are very thick compared to the labaha type of blade i will try to show you later on the comparison okay so the video is very very long i don't wanna consume more of your time so yeah number one again once again try to look for the again for the thickness number two for the for the housing if it is aluminum number three for the inserts if it is uh, this kind of uh, wood very rough with engraving on it and the last one the fourth one is the how how thick your blade is you know because if you can rotate the diameter uh, sorry the dimension of the of the blade itself the, this is very thick compared to the labaha labaha if you will notice, if you try to manipulate the Labaha type of blade, it's very lighter compared to this one. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, Mr. is Mr. J. I hope I have answered your your uh, you know your request regarding the what kind of uh, what song that what would fit. Also, before I forgot, the fifth one. If you really wanted to manipulate the balisong, you might wanna choose the 24 centimeter length. Okay. It is really hard for us to manipulate uh, uh, 29 centimeter the infamous Benten Webe. You can know, uh, actually, uh, having said about the uh, Benten Webe, recently I just uh, have watched a vlogger, an old vlogger, a Filipino vlogger. 
he is, he is trying to showcase his sleeping skills you know i'm really impressed at his, at his age i i i'm guessing that he, his age uh, is about uh, uh he's a middle aged man or even uh, elder elder than that older than that maybe his age, maybe his age is for about uh, i can tell 50 years old or 60 years old also all, all, almost a veteran or a senior but he, we can, but he can still manage to flip uh, what kind of uh, I'll be specific huh? he man, still manages to flip one of these uh, old school balisong this kind of balisong I'm sorry he was holding a, an ordinary original what they call the original in Tal this one he's, he was trying to flip it like he was trying to he did uh, he did what uh, he did the maneuver that uh, just like the, man, the one of the maneuvers that I did of one of my videos, you know, the flipping videos that I did. He tossed it in the air and he manages manages to catch it on the handles like this. So I was really impressed. I said, ah, grabe, this, this guy is really, you know, into Balisong in his younger years, I can tell. So anyhow, I'm returning it right now. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the fifth one. Uh, I lost, I lost the the the, uh, the concern about the that old guy who was trying to flip his balisong. No, the, the concern regarding that video is that I noticed that he was. It is really dangerous for him to to be performing that kind of maneuver because he was holding a bent and wavy type of blade. I, uh, why is that? Because it's really heavy. No, number one, heavy, and it has a lot of mass. And once it gets through your skin or your flesh, it will cut you deep or stab you deep if it fails if you fail to catch it in the in mid air no or what not so i suggest as you can see if you can notice i'm really fast doing it no? compared to the if you're trying to flip it on the on, with, with the button maybe eh? this one it comes with a 20 centimeter you uh, you will you can manipulate it easy so i suggest you try to practice with the 24 standard for me this is a, this is the standard size 24 centimeter slim wooden and also comes with a an, an aluminum housing right so again number one slim type not so slim that standard slim number two the aluminum housing number three the uh, wooden rough inserts and number four it comes with a 24 centimeter size okay so it's mr j i hope i answered your uh, your request so here it is and also showcasing you the all of my my entire collection and peace out okay subscribe